In this video, I'm going to be talking about when and how you should get corrected when you're learning a foreign language. In my opinion, really the only time that you should be getting corrected by native speakers is when you're already almost perfect in the language. The anti-moon guys argue that really you should aim for never making any mistakes ever. If you only say things that you know you've heard a native speaker say before, then in theory you can really learn to speak flawlessly without ever making a single mistake. On the other hand, if you force input too early and make a lot of mistakes, then those mistakes are going to become habits that are going to be hard to break later. Now of course, in reality, things aren't this simple. In my experience, no matter how careful you are and how hard you try, you're still going to end up making a few mistakes here and there, and that's where getting corrected by a native comes in. But just to reiterate, this is the icing on the cake. You should be able to reach near perfection without ever getting corrected by a native speaker. If you're a beginner or intermediate or even lower advanced, then input alone should be able to fix virtually all of your outputting problems. If you're just making mistakes left and right and are hoping that a native will correct you to perfection, then you're pretty fucked. If you're not following this logic, you should probably go read Antimoon or Ajat. So now we have the when you should get corrected, when you're pretty much already perfect. But if you were a noob, it's not like you'd actually be able to get native speakers to correct you anyway. Correcting a non-native speaker's speech is exhausting and boring, and when they're your friend, it's also awkward. Kat says that when he was a noob, he got his Japanese friends to correct his every mistake, but I just do not see how this could be possible. See, the Japanese kind of have this unconscious belief that only they can truly master the Japanese language, and all foreigners are pretty much going to suck forever. If you get even decent at Japanese, then Japanese people are going to be thoroughly impressed, and most likely not even understand your desire to get even better. If you ask them to start correcting your speech, they're probably going to just think of it as a pointless pain in the ass and forget about it an hour later. Plus, even if they did go and actually correct your every mistake, it's not like it would actually help you. Now this kind of goes back to what I was saying before. Unless you're already nearly perfect, then you're not actually going to be able to comprehend and make note of all the little mistakes that you make. All of their corrections are just going to go in one ear and out the other because you're going to be too busy trying to figure out how to get your thought across. Okay, sorry, I got a little off topic there. Now what I was going to say is that I've kind of noticed that although, or perhaps because Japanese people have this belief that foreigners will never be able to truly master the language, they have this sort of sense of pride that it's their duty to actually master the Japanese language. Basically, Japanese people have no problem correcting other Japanese people's speech. When a Japanese person uses a word wrong, or pronounces something with a wrong pitch accent, other Japanese people will be quick to jump on them and correct them. So I guess all I'm really trying to say is that the key to getting corrected, and maybe even mastering Japanese in general, is to get accepted by the Japanese people as one of them. There's nothing Japanese people hate more than their language being used incorrectly by their own people. If you can get Japanese people to think of you as one of them, then they'll go out of their way to fix all your mistakes. But of course, this is no easy task. First, you have to be already really fucking good at Japanese and have a deep understanding of Japanese culture. Your mistakes have to be so few and far that they stick out like a sore thumb. But if you're like me and you don't look Japanese in any way, shape, or form, then that's not going to be enough. It's going to take Japanese people a little while to get past your face. So you're going to have to actually become pretty close friends with someone before they're going to feel comfortable correcting your speech. But in my personal experience, and this is something that started happening to me quite recently, is that when you're really damn good at Japanese, and you're really close to a Japanese person, and that Japanese person knows that it's important to you to get even better at Japanese, then really they'll eventually kind of just get over the fact that you're a foreigner, and they'll start correcting you quite naturally, even without you even asking them. So I guess my conclusion is get really fucking good without getting corrected, and eventually you'll get corrected whether you like it or not.